Soundtrack, I think you picked the wrong music for this. Neku, you would literally die. That threat doesn't work. <sighs> so maybe he means less actually leaving and just refusing to do anything Joshua wants to do. Joshua, you have an interesting definition of jacked. <laughs> Joshua was very direct when he wants to be. Reaper. <laughs> Oh, it's the petite prince. It <laughs> just registered to me what he called him. Joy, we're gonna have those two after. So we're not actually going to Mr. H. Today is actually a very important day because today is the last time that you can easily get a specific type of pen. And we actually need at least a few of those. show you is what we're actually going to be trying to pick up here. Then I'm going to show you where to farm the stuff we need. Let's see. Hi there. Supposedly it was in... Ah, here it is. So this is the final pen slot, which unlocks the final slot in Echo's first pens. But you need that Tektite, along with some rare metal. That's the only important new thing here. 
Come back soon. But there's one other thing we need to get. Which is actually over in Q. The KYU one, not the Q. Now, I might be going the wrong way again. But this loop should get me there eventually. Joshua was full of random trivia today, it seems. so mad that Neku's not interested. Oh god, I, I was not paying that close attention to... to, uh, spelling. Here's a what -a? No. Josh was so upset. I wonder if I can trigger that again, or if I just got it. Yeah, it's just gone forever. Oh well. Yeah, you're right, it's over here. The other thing we want is Joshua's other is uh, Joshua's other fusion sticker. Which also needs a tech type. I might have shown this off before, I don't recall. I know that was only like a day ago, but I've already forgotten. <laughs> also, all the Dragon Corterra ones have like really interesting names. Till next time, good day. I forget everything, so I'm glad you're here. So those two things are the two things that I'm going to be getting before we actually progress, because I'm not going further in the game without that, that pen slot. And there's also something else that I want. So our Pyrokinesis pen has done has done, done us pretty well. But unfortunately it's really just not holding up. And technically it's not actually that bad of an attack based on the other stuff that we have. Though this was supposed to evolve. But there's actually something we can get here. So today there are actually new noise wandering around this area, and we need to find two. And here's one of them. Don't make this worse for yourself. So these are called the Alterna Wolves, which is based off of uh, alternatives, obviously. So this wolf drops a very specific count. It only drops it on normal, and it's a very low drop rate, but it's a pin that I absolutely want before we progress. There's one other thing. That appears here, and apparently it's not going to be in its own noise symbol. Open up your senses. It might be that one. Let's take a look. See. You're good as gone. This is not what I'm looking for. I can't help my aim. What? How's my aim? I need to actually look up how to trigger that one pen because I'm <laughs> terribly missing how to trigger it. How's 
my aim. <laughs> Predictable. That's how it's done. Oh, I plan to. I'm just trying to actually show off what I'm looking for right now. Focus. Once I actually get down to the ground grinding, I will, but I want to show what I'm actually looking for. This is not it. This works for yourself. How's my aim? Gotcha. Apparently, I just needed. Yeah, just tap the enemy, and that does the physical strike, which is not. Not really a pin I'm I tend to favor, but we'll put up with it until you do something else. find any information on what sigils they actually appeared in because apparently it's, um, there's no consistent symbols anything appears in at least as far as I can tell Walking right to the fork of time. here called called the death thrash me how's my aim the death the death thrash me drops the tech type that we need but only on hard while the eternal wolf drops the other pen I'm looking for but only on normal and I really do appreciate the fact that this game actually made the different difficulties have some significance outside of health where certain noise would drop different- not even certain noise, where most noise would drop different pins depending on the difficulty. I can't. I can't. Rest in peace. Well, I notice a lot of noise tend to drop money pins on easy, so if you want to far farm money, it's actually better to go on to easy. But anyways, those noise can appear in these two areas on week two day five so I'm going to be beating them up a bit until I get everything that I need and when I do I'm gonna go buy those stickers and when we come back we will have Joshua's level three fusion as well as Neku's final pen okay so before we get started I have a slight correction to make I misread the notes, or rather I misread what I used to make my notes. 
and the Death Thrash Mink does not actually appear yet. Um, instead, what I needed to farm was the Hardcore Hogs, which I found up at 10-4. They're the brown hedgehogs. So, I did get what I needed. Somewhere in here. So we do have rank 3 with Joshua now. I turned myself up a little bit and I'll try to, to talk a little bit uh, louder. Is that better? I might just be talking a little quieter without thinking about it. But anyways, um, I got Joshua's third fusion sticker, so he is now max level fusion. And I will try to show that off, though in practice I was actually having a lot of trouble building that much sync before everything died. And I also, somewhere up here, got the last extra slot for the deck. On that note, I also got a couple of extra things, as you can see down there. So this is the pen that I was going for when I was farm farming the Alterna Wolves. This is a replacement for our Pyrokinesis pen. Now this, as you can see here, can actually evolve, and it evolves with Shutdown PP. So I have a spare over here, and if we get too close to level 5 with this one before we end, I'm going to sub this out to make sure that I don't master it instead of uh, evolving it. It actually evolves twice with Shutdown PP, but the thing about that is its second evolution changes what the Psyche is. It changes to the Fire Blast Psyche. Now, Fire Blast is an upgrade to Pyrokinesis. It's a large gout of flame that you can't move, but it's significantly more damaging, covers more area, and it has the, uh, has the chance to inflict HP drain on enemies. What that means is that enemies will lose about 5% of their maximum health every tick. Now, I'm actually going to be evolving both of these once, but then I'm going to master the other and evolve the second one. And that's because you've seen how finicky it is about actually registering empty space for Pyrokinesis. I don't want to evolve the only good Pyrokinesis pin I have to Fire Blast only for it to not really work. So I'm going to keep a spare one mastered in its second evolution just in case I need to sub that out. I also looked up Murasama here and same deal, this evolves with Shutdown PP and I got a spare one here that I can sub it in. Now for Ichimonji, I don't remember, I believe this evolves through battle and Love Me Tether definitely evolves through battle, I looked that up. Well I say definitely but I don't know for sure. Because the final mix badge uh, pan evolution seems to be kind of funky, from what people know. But either way, supposedly this evolves through battle PP, so I'm going to give it a try. And you might notice that I have this. This was the evolution of the Cutie Beam, which was the force rounds I was using. You also see it's got a long way to go before it evolves, so we're going to be using that pretty exclusively. I'm going to try to inch this a little bit closer to evolving before I sub it out just so that I can guarantee that I've got it evolution ready for next time. Because this is the main problem with trying to evolve pens and show them off is you can't control how much shutdown PP you get. You just have to leave the game turned off for that to work. And it can be a really big pain for things like Let's Plays because I can't just delay it a week to evolve all the pins I want to evolve, so we're just going to kind of have to put up with it. I also swap back to the other healing pin because the Jupiter the Monkey one stayed at 30%. I thought it would increase in strength when it maxed, when it mastered, but not the case. So let's see... What were we actually doing? Right, Joshua wanted us to go to... 
Wildcat. I don't believe that works, no. I believe this game has like a failsafe like Pokemon Sword does, and it's not gonna work if I change what the date is. It might! I might just be remembering incorrectly, but this was not the way I needed to go. I am never going to remember how to navigate this city, I swear. This way? Well, apparently it was this way because I recognize this theme music. Or maybe I don't. I thought it was Beat who was gonna assault us, but apparently Korea just straight up walked up to us. idea if I'm spelling his name or saying his name correctly or not. <laughs> and yep, I knew it. Wall Reaper. <sighs> no, you're not. Don't even start with that. What's this game you want us to play? Oh, it just straight up passes denied. Okay. Korea. Okay. Um. Oh, this one I could break. Oh, God. Do I even have what I need to do that? Let's go this way. So where did where did the idiot duo go? They wanted us to do something, and then we just straight up. Okay. I think it's the bull in oh, the zodiac. Do I even have anything that's D plus B? I wish we even wear this. I'm actually curious. He can, it just won't give him any- it just won't give him the ability because it's not cheeky. But we don't really care about that right now. Dangerous buffalo. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to strip our clothes then. only D plus B. I really gotta buy a lot more of the threads. I am slacking like mad on that. <laughs> but to be fair, since I'm not grinding, I don't have as much money as I should. Unfortunately, as you can see, if you have uh, something assigned to- Get in the slot, my god. <laughs> I am not playing Trauma Team. Do not make me get it perfectly in the slot for it to go in there. Unfortunately, as you can see, if something is assigned to a deck, you can't actually assign it to a different deck. So we're just gonna have to deal. Dib, dib. I know it's not dib, I don't care. <laughs> Uh, since Neku's also wearing Dib, as long as we don't double up on any of these pens, it should be okay. This is actually a... yeah, that's also a buffalo pen. Alright, let's do this with these terrible pens that I hate. At 
this is already brand chart three, so this should go pretty quickly. You're good as gun. Yeah. This is what psychokinesis does, by the way. I don't really find this worth it. I mean, it's not bad, I guess. But I would rather spend this time with like pyrokinesis or something. I have definitely got to get some more money pins though so I can actually get some more of the threads that I need. Because this problem right here is directly my fault. Pick it up, Neku. Thank you. That was quick. Okay, we should be able to actually chain a few attack. A few these encounters, so let's go up to a two chain and give that a try. Watch yourself. Oh, so you can see the no obstacles thing did not in fact work. Thank you, pick it up. Why he uh, pick it up, Matthew? Thank you. I don't know why he does it, but it's really annoying that he just drops the thing instead of using the other pyrokinesis or psychokinesis pin. Psychokinesis pen is that it's reliant on the obstacles, and if the obstacles break, well, you're kind of screwed. Don't need this horse for yourself. I did, but I actually checked it before, like while I was grinding. I checked it just to be sure it just it doesn't work. I guess it has to be on Neku for it to work. Pick hey, Neku. <laughs> The other reason Psychokinesis sucks because I had this exact same problem on the DS, you just would not pick up the dang item. <laughs> that one was probably an issue with my stylus or something. One thing I noticed that I don't really like is the fact that conflict still exists even if you're not wearing a pen. Like, you notice how I clicked and held on the noise to try to get the pyrokinesis to show up. It won't work because it, pyrokinesis spe spe specifically requires empty space. Empty space, wow. I get That was nothing. That was a bit rougher than I wanted that to go. Hey, level up for pens I'll never use. <laughs> the D plus B is already top, so hey, look at that. Really, all of my problems are self made. If I just sat and ground out money or pens. Could be in a better situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. The main problem I have with pins trying to make brands popular is that specific brands only have specific sites. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Take 
use the C. Do I have? No, he wanted. He wanted a uh, ramen. Bulbous is not ramen. It's soup, I think. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure it's just up here in Dogenzaka. Soy sauce, miso, salty. Hmm. Well, I do want this for bravery, so. Instant noodles. I could actually buy ramen, so I will gladly take the answer. Because these also don't look like what he's looking for. Yeah, I... I never even remotely would have guessed that. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm aware the sea is salty, but I never associate somebody saying wanting to taste the sea with wanting to taste something salty. That's just not a thing you say around here. I only grabbed three, so I got one for him. Yeah, I assume, like, fish or shrimp, some kind of seafood? Possibly seaweed? Never just straight salt. Oh dear god. So what's the hint that that Joshua gives you? Oh god! <laughs> it's a quiz! What do I do? Are, are Korea and Uzuki just hungry? <laughs> or did they pull all these guys away from their lunch break? Attention to his name. Um, I think this is the one that showed up when. Why are you asking me direct price? Pretty effective clue. I'm gonna have to go look it up again because who, who pays attention to the individual price of things in a game where you're buying stuff left and right? <laughs> I have always absolutely despised those type of clues, those type of questions. Ask me what item is where, that's a good question. Ask me the name of the shopkeeper, that's a decent question. Don't ask me how much one item in the like 50 or more that I've been buying costs. See, I didn't know that. I thought all of the chatter was specifically what based on where you were. Like, it's supposed to give you hints on what to do, but I didn't realize that it was consistent across every area. Especially because we've actually seen cutscenes where Joshua changes what he says. Oh, 
was my fault. Okay. Anyway, I apologize if I sound um, upset. I'm not actually upset, but I am... I get extremely annoyed when somebody tells me to do something and they're really, really vague about it. So please, if you're ever going to give me instructions, I don't care if it's redundant, please be specific. <laughs> Okay, so I actually got two of them correct. So his name is in fact Kendoy. And I was right that it's instant noodles that he only shares with your friends. This is what I got wrong because it's 580. There we go. Also, yeah, um, I think Joshua just wants more ramen because he apparently really liked that ramen there. And we got a defense sticker. Um, since those guys were red, inevitably I'm gonna have to clear them at some point. Joshua looks like a girl in general. Also, I don't say that to be like an insult or a crack. I just find it amusing how he's so distinctly feminine in a lot of things. He looks good, though. I don't like that laughter. Uh. <laughs> Aren't you up? So how many nicknames is that for Neku at this point? I forgot to put my clothes back on. We'll do that. We, we need to go buy some pants. For both Neku and Joshua, in fact. And both of these are extremely expensive, so... Nothing doing there, either. I believe there was one of a 10 4 though. Let's go check that out. Also, it always makes me... It, I feel extremely disorientated with how the... The tower seems to be tilted. Not pants, but shoes also count. Um, I didn't. I don't think I ever talked too in depth about the threads, but the way that it goes is that you have hats, tops, bottoms, footwear, and accessories, and they can all they you can only equip one of each type. And since they have four slots, you'll be wearing four of the five. haven't been doing it though I really should be it's best to fill everybody's spots up like even if it's just a random item that's not very good it's always better to have something in the slot than nothing though you only get the really good stuff with I think it's Lepin, Angelique and Pegaso and Dragon Quartier. 
those, those are the only ones that give you like the really good stats uh, clothing. I think there's actually some in Tiger Punks as well. The absolute best, best clothing I found is in uh, Gatito, and that's because that's cosplay clothing, for lack of a better word. The clothes of all the main that's of all I the think. canon characters are in Gatito. Not all the clothes, but quite a few of them. Of course, Joshua had to make a crack about it. <laughs> yeah, up here. <laughs> Why is everybody laughing at him? The clothing didn't look that bad. I feel like I'm missing something because the clothing doesn't look that terrible. <laughs> Very simple clothing. Am I missing something here? Okay, this is actually good for Neku to keep, even if he doesn't get the ability, because it still gives him five attack. And this is his go-to shirt. I don't actually have any other accessories or footwear, so we'll just stick with that. I really need to buy a lot more clothing before I forget again. Not bad. We are trying to boost up Neku's attack. We're doing pretty well on HP right now. Though it could always be more considering you only lose a percent of your HP when you drop your level. But I want to make Neku hit a bit harder. Uh... We're not going to get past this. We're going to be stuck here forever. Make sure I don't remember how this works. That's a neat penny drop, though. But why would you? Why would oh, you look at that way? I somehow made that work. I have no idea how I made that work, but I somehow made that work. <laughs> okay, now I feel bad. Okay, so this is actually an interesting pen. So what it means by mortal peril is that in 
the DS version, if because you were on two screens, each person had their own had a, a linked health bar. If your health bar went below zero and you started depleting your partner's health, you were in what was considered mortal peril. Um, a lot of pins like this actually capitalize on that to well do what this does. It boosts attack and EXP and stuff like that. The thing, if you've ever played Paper Mario, it's basically similar to Peril Strats in that game. You can actually put both of your characters in peril because it would set the e your HP to zero. But the thing was, you didn't actually game over until you went below zero. So as long as you never got hit, you would have a huge increase in attack and everything for both characters. Uh, in this game, peril is considered if you're under 25%. Okay, that's actually really adorable, and I feel so bad about that reaper. <laughs> I pick your pens. He gave me two pens. What did he even give me? Two pens I don't know how to use. Because none of the usual things appear to be working. And I actually have no way to check what the pens controls are. Slash no, those aren't working. How's my aim? Yeah, I don't appear to be able to do anything. Slashing the enemy is not working. Slashing, slashing Neku is not working. Tapping is not working. Yeah, I could see this being some version of my own personal health. How's my aim? Also, hello, how are you doing today? Also, there you can see uh, Joshua's escalation. Yeah, I have I have no idea how I'm supposed to... Whoa! Okay. This one's apparently scratch empty space. Oh, cool! So both of these are scratch empty space pins. This one's actually pretty neat. <laughs> I actually really like this challenge. I just wish it would actually tell you what to do to activate the pins. So god, these pins are slow booting as I'll get out. There we go. So, who's next? I do find these kind of challenges interesting in games like this because it makes you actually attempt things that you might not normally use. Which is pretty cool, I think. So your game was just to basically make us run through like 40 different walls? Interesting. I think I actually had the exact same issue on the DS game when this happened because I couldn't figure out how to activate the pins. Because basically none of the games I actually played used the microphone. So I always forgot the microphone even existed because I just never used it. So I couldn't figure out how to activate the pins. When I finally looked it up, I was like, wait, the DS has a microphone? Oh no, more taboo noise. Also, you could be right, Pi. It might be who did the most damage. <sighs> I don't remember. But I do like the fact that it varies between the two. Actually, no, I don't think that's the case because I got a couple of Neku only fights and Joshua still showed up. It might just be random.
I actually completely missed whatever hint he gave me this time. I just thought I remembered that scratching thin air was another pen activation. It was actually surprisingly responsive, so I might try one of those scratch one of those scratch pins sometime soon. Most of the reason I was not was because I was having so much issue with the pyrokinesis pins registering. If you're ever going to play the game, I would suggest not watching, because we're actually near the end of this section of the game, and there's going to be some big old spoilers. It depends entirely on whether or not you're actually going to play the game or not, though. Because once Neo hits, I guarantee you there's not going to be anything about this game that's not going to be spoiled. I think I'm progressing a little too fast again. Also, I still love that whole thing of Neku uh, asking if it was I see dead people level weird, and Hanakoma's just like, yep. familiar right now. Like, I'm pretty sure I've heard that speech from someone else, and not in this game, I don't think. Actually, I think you're right. I think it was Shiki who said that. Thankfully, I got everything I actually wanted from him, or rather, would need from him today. Two, three. Joshua. Well, this internal decadence means you're driving an expensive 
I do have to admire how controlled Neku is being right now. I feel like anybody else would have just socked Joshua right in the face. Also, Hanakumba wasn't lying. Wildcat is actually closed. Alright, let me actually see what Whoa. I can do about clothing. I don't have a lot, but... Most of these are pretty expensive. This is a really good accessory, though. Wow. Dang, I should have saved my money for that. Look at that. Uh huh. New attack plus three, that also would have included the defense. Thank you. some point where there'll be a noise that drops a lot of the money pens and I can just chain those and get a crap ton all at once. non gory saw vibes? <laughs> oh god, you again? <laughs> Now, <laughs> okay, that's funnier because it's against Josh. when the game when the movies first came out some of the later movies uh seem to forget that specific plot point wasn't the second movie also still okay about that I think the third movie wasn't, but then there was an actual reason for that one. Huh? It was after the third movie that things started getting a little... I believe. Twinkle Twinkle, what? <laughs> I absolutely love Beat, I swear. I'll get out to adults. Compare to us? I don't think that's it. Watch yourself. Come on. Come on. Also, as you can see from the fact that he's still wrecking us, and we are not uh, doing much damage at all, we're still not meant to win this fight. Feels like we might have gotten uh, cheekies that late. Hey, okay, only pin. I love the flying skateboard as well. Impertinent, I think, is the word I was looking for. Yeah. Also, 
So I'm assuming Neku just like held it out in front of him like a shield to get beat to stop trying to punch him in the face. Huh? So considering how hostile Beat was, I just feel like Neku also flung it and just nailed him in the forehead with it. Here, take it! Just go away! I really gotta look up what that song is. Considering that's apparently Beat's theme song. It's a Fleetwood Reaper. I don't know why, but I still love that. Alright, I want to check my- Okay, cutscene first. does all this. <laughs> and Neku is uh, probably trying to calm himself down. But I love Joshua's little quip there. Himself said that when he first brought up Cat, that nobody had any idea what gender Cat was or if they were even a person or a group. He really is! adorable when he gets excited about something. aesthetic he means an aesthetic the reuse of that cat with the hands from what I can tell is just for the viewer benefit so we can label it as cat's work he apparently does branch out to a lot of different things because you remember Neku said cat made everything clothing as well Komaida vibe from him? Because that made me get the vibe a lot suddenly. I 
I love the f that despite the fact Joshua is trying his best to be a bad example, Neku is still doing good. Seriously, you are doing such a good Neku. I'm so proud of you. screwing with him, Joshua. I think you were really trying something there. Also, this is a good point. Even without the missions, it seems like the players only have a specific amount of time per day they're awake. Because they clearly keep passing out in short periods. constant resetting of the pointer is annoying, but the game actually keeps messing up where the pointer actually is. Which is probably why it has that reset built in. Trolls needed to spend another, I don't know, four or five months hammering them out? underpass. I think it was through Hachiko? Yeah, it was through Hachiko. So this is where? Yeah, apparently this is where we need to be. thing at all. It's a barbed wire wall. So that's one heck of a noise on that wall. At least I assume that's a noise. That's like a snake mouth. Wait, 
actually be uh, strong enough for me to rack up enough to get Joshua's third fusion. Let's find out. And if the pen will reboot a little bit faster than that. Um, or it could be over. Sure. I barely nicked it, so I assumed I. Volume of the actual music. And we're being stuck by Lollipop. Interesting. Joshua does not appear to be surprised by that accusation. The right to get another portion. You know now is the time to get ready for detonation. Rise up like a vortex cortex. Reality is full of immorality. Rich is they cheer to the news. Most if they cross, that's what they like. Complex going on and on. Insanity means nothing with insanity. Good purchase. They wallow with their holly on now. Yeah, if any of you expected him to actually, like, take- be proactive here, you were... I don't know what to tell you. There's an option to get at work, he will take it. Though this threat seems to be actually legitimate. <laughs> or maybe not. Also, this is completely random, but much like Yu-Gi-Oh, I really like the way hands are drawn in this style. Maybe that's why we can scan him. Well, that and he's alive. Has finally snapped. That's also out of the bag. And Joshua isn't even remotely denying it.